This is a demo and instruction video on how to use our two templates to scrap uh, properties from Property Guru in Singapore. Uh, so this is Property Guru for uh, properties for rent. So it's a category page. And the way it works is that we have two automations, one that will get all the listings of the URLs and will paginate. Uh, so it will paginate through um, all the pages here. And there are a lot of them. So you can specify how many, how many pages you want to paginate through because there are too many. And I'll show you where you can do that. So when you open the project, uh, here you have a, a loop and you can specify how many pages you want to loop through. So 10 is usually uh, more than enough, but you can put 100, 1000 if you wish. Don't mind this security warning. It will not apply when the browser is running. So just come here, uh, set your number of loops, save, and then you can run it and it will go page by page and uh, capture the URLs of the listings. That's what we want to do with this first automation is to grab the, uh, the listings URLs. So we put, because my connection is very slow, I put a long timer, a long timeout. But once it loads, uh, given the first page, it gets all the results of that page. So it got the first page. Now it's going to page two, you see? Uh, I can close this. So for page two, again, it's going to load, uh, wait for load for, lo for navigation, and then it's going to get all the results of that page two. You can see it here, page two. There you go. 43 results now, and then it's going to page three and it's going to do the same for the 10 pages uh, all the way. So let's just wait to, to get the page three results and then I'll stop it and we will look at the results. Okay, it's waiting for navigation. So I put uh, 30 seconds, now we got them. So I can close this for the moment. Let's go check the results. So we got 60 plus URLs here and I can check here there are our URLs. So you can you can browse through here and get all the URLs. You can also export into a CSV file, yeah? But the way we're going to do it is that we're going to feed the results of this first automation to the second automation. So the second automation is about getting the listings data. So if you go to the settings, you can go to URLs and here you import from a project. And I want to import from uh, the listing URLs and which property I want to import. I want to import the listing URL. So I'm importing from this project, this property, and that will feed it to my second project here. This second project. And this second project, for each URL that is being fed, it will go and capture uh, a bunch of uh, uh, information that we want. Uh, so you can't see it here because of the protection we are working on it. But when you look at the source code, uh, we want to catch for each listing, when I open each listing individually, we want to catch the title here. So I got the title, it's a H1 class. And then also uh, what we are using here is a trick. For example, if I want to get um, when it is listed on. So we're using here um, JavaScript rule because listed on doesn't have a specific uh, ID or class. So if I look, if I show you here, listed on um, here, the last item listed on, if I look into the source code, it is the same attribute as all the others. So they all look the same. So the only way that I can catch the, the this value here is to say that it will appear between listed on and, be, and, be, and before description. And that's what the JavaScript is doing. It's saying, get me the content that appears after listed on with or without space and it will and between or before description. And then it gets me the listed on. So I do this for all the um, items that do not have a dedicated um, tag. For example, for the availability also, it will appear between availability and listed on. And, and so on. So we've done that for all these 20 or, or dozen of uh, 
data. So now we can run the project. It will open all the URL that have been fed and get us all this data neatly and nicely organized into, uh, into our results table. And also here uh, I'm doing uh, a multi-threading. I will show you how to do it that is opening five windows at the same time depending on your internet speed you can open even 10 at the time and you can see that here it's going through uh, every page once it loads the data it gets the results and then it closes current page it opens the next ones and it will go on like this uh, until it finishes the job and it can do thousands of pages in this way so let's wait for another few maybe 20 it will give you the counters also. So we initially from project one, we got 63 URLs and now it's going through the 26 of the 63, but I'm going to stop it for now. And if I go to the results now, we have the 24 that we scraped. And if I look at the data, you see you have everything. You have the property title, the tags, the price, the number of bed, bathroom, square feet, availability, and you know all this data that was uh, difficult to get. Uh, like listed on here listed on we are able to catch when it was listed and also the listing ID we're also getting the coordinates for the Google map that appears there we're getting the URL of the listing in case you want to go back description featured image facilities and amenities the whole block so you have everything here uh, and it's pretty uh, consistent and pretty exhaustive so that's how it works for this template or this dual template and when you go back to the project that scrapes the, the pages, you can increase or decrease the number of tabs that you open at the same time, and it's here. So if you go to the properties, the settings, you can either put 10, or if your internet is slow, you put three, or even if you go one by one, you can do that. For me, it works well with five. And also I disabled the images so that we can load the pages much faster. So this is about it. It can scrap the whole thing, the 10,000 plus properties, or it can scrap um, just the first uh, 10 pages. It depends on your first automation, uh, how many here pages you, you put in terms of the loop. So uh, that, that's what will define the number of listings at the end. That's it. Uh, you can enjoy this and get all the data you need. Thank you.